are expecting Neil to move down on the inside. The bit like Rodders did there on Keith. Woo -hoo -hoo. Rodders sees a gap and he goes for it. And on meanwhile, Vince is past Jamo. He's alongside Jamo. Jamo's going back through on the inside. Vince is on the outside. Into Sterling's video now got. Oh, made a mistake. Whoa. Back end kicks out like hell. Video looking back to get back under the draft as Sarek comes out of the pitch. Watch out, Sarek! <laughs> Three wide decides to get up to speed and sees all these go through. Vince has got the draft from Keith as well. But back to the leaders side by side for Rodders and Seek down towards the last corner. Here we go! LPB Mixed Surface Series Round 6 Race 1 from Fisherman's Ranch in the Audi Quattros. Hi guys and welcome back to LPB Racing for the LPB Racing Mixed Surface Series on GT Sport. This is round six of the season. We are here at Fisherman's Ranch. We are in the Audi S1 Quattro, the Group B rally car from back in the mid-1980s. Absolutely brilliant car, very, very powerful and very wild. There's only seven of us, unfortunately, a few absentees here today, so we'll run through them just now for you through the grid. So, qualifying was random grid for this first race, and T.Y. draws pole position then for the first race. T.Y. is on pole, he's weight free as well. Intrepid is second, he's on fourth place, uh, fifth place weight in the championship, sorry. Fifth place weight for him. Rodders in third, he is on fourth place weight in the championship, that is uh, 80 kilos. And then Neil Farmack is fourth, he is on 160 kilos on his car for second place in the championship. Red Bull is fifth, he is... He's, uh, He's weight free in this one. Keith is in sixth. He's weight free as well. And Bids is at the back in seventh. He's on 200 kilos maximum ballast. We are unfortunately missing Seek One and Will from this race. So and Keith as well. We are uh, sorry, Keith's here. So we're missing Will and Seek. So I'm just trying to read the list, guys. And Stevie as well. So here we go. Ready for the off. So we're two down. But let's hope we get some good racing in. And off we go. Instantly up to about 60 miles an hour. This car accelerates from 0 to 60 in about two seconds. Incredible speeds as uh, T goes into the first corner. Intrepid Neil and Rodders all together as we slide through the first few corners. This is going to be absolutely wild. Fisherman's Ranch is, is the equivalent of the Nurburgring on dirt. It is absolutely amazing. As Intrepid runs wide there, Rodders goes through to third place. Contact between Red Bull and Intrepid there as you go over the jump. Both cars getting collected. Intrepid goes into the wall there, so I'll have to be careful of what happens there. Red Bull, I'm not, if he's slow, not for, sure if he's slowing down for him, but Bitzer comes up from the back. Up into fourth place there. So Biz up into fourth. Red Bull goes wide and trepid now, battling with Keith at the back. Side by side almost into the hairpin. Sort of a sort of a little kink hairpin and then up the hill. Oh, he's hit the wall, he's hit the wall there and trepid. Then Keith comes up the hill and goes and past him. So he's through into sixth place. Meanwhile, Red Bull and Rodders trying to pressure each other as you go up the hill. We're still climbing up the mountain here. So it's a bit of a climb this. And then we go up to the top, we'll get to some hairpins, we'll go down the hill and then we'll start descending again. So it goes up and down the hill, this, as Red Bull goes through there, Rodders and Bids are trying to get in on this as well. Neil Farmack and T.Y. have cleared off up front, they're already in the hairpins as we go over the massive jump into the hairpins then. We've got Oak, uh, the go there goes uh, Red Bull running wide, Red Bull goes wide into the wall there. Slides his way back through as Bids doing Rodders, Bids are trying to get down the inside of Rodders, trying to make a gap, and nope, there wasn't really a gap there really, but Rodders gets hit off, and I'm not sure if Bids is going to let him back through, but that was a bit robust there by Bids. And he's not letting him through, so he clearly thinks it was all right. So that'll probably get looked at afterwards. But Red Bull goes through down the hill. Bids through in front. Red Bull hitting the wall there. Rod is going down the hill. And very hard to control these cars. And on a fast circuit as well like this, it's going to make things even more interesting. And what's going to make things even more interesting than this is, that is the races three and four. We're in a, con a car that's the complete opposite to this. But I'll not reveal that just yet. I'll let you... Uh, I'll let you guess what that's going to be, but uh, here we go. Right over the jump goes Rodders. Oh, oh, and they're going to hit the wall. Bang, bang, ping pong. We're playing ping pong now as he goes off the wall and up to the front. So, T.Y. in the lead then, showing off his skills on the dirt in this Audi. Taming the beast as we go up to this jump. We're winding up for the jump now. Big, massive air about to come here. There we go. Car in the air, car on the ground. Break, break, break into this double right-hander. Nicely controlled there from T.Y. There's Neil Farmer, there's Bidster going over the jump. Bidster over the jump, oh, a bit of a wild landing for Bidster. He's gone round, full 360, goes round off the jump. The front end dug in, 
And he got uh, and he had a bit of a rough landing there, but Red Bull goes through into third place. Bids are trying to get going again in the yellow Audi. Keith in another yellow Audi. Oh, he's done the same as his teammate. These BB racing cars not liking that jump one bit altogether. So it is Intrepid sixth, Brothers in fifth. Bids is in fourth, chasing down Red Bull in third after his little after his little pirouette. As he goes down the hill, gets a good run on Red Bull now down the hill. Power on, sixth gear, 100, oh, passes him in the air, 135 miles an hour, sliding the car through the last few corners. Round the outside goes Bids, trying to hold on round the outside, can't get through, Red Bull holds on to his ground. You can see the drivers working in the car there, the orange suit of, uh, of Bids there, working, working his way, working the wheel. There goes Red Bull through in front, so across the line. T.Y., Neil, Red Bull, Bidster is your top four. Rodders, Intrepid and Keith are fifth, sixth and seventh. So it's only four laps here because it's quite a big circuit. And as you can see there, uh, from the last few laps, 3 minutes 27.0. As Red Bull uh, gets passed by Bids, he taps the wall a little bit himself. But Bids goes through into third place. He's got to be careful. Oh, oh, just misses the wall by an inch or two. And... Uh, it looks flamboyant from Bidster, but it's not exactly what you call quick at the moment, but it looks good as you slide into the corner, sliding, 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 going up the hill. Power, 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 up the hill, but you see the front end bouncing in the air. So the uh, physics on this game, trying to do its best to keep up, making the car sort of feel like it's hovering a little bit. As Neil trying to close upon T.Y., but T.Y., well and truly ahead, 3.14 on the first lap, and he's going even faster now, obviously, because there was a standing start. So into the hairpin we go. T.Y. beautifully sliding the car around here and through we go into the hairpin. T.Y.'s on controller here and proving that controller can win races and it is doing. He's doing a really good job here so far. Sliding his way out the hairpins. Beautiful display from T.Y. Oh, Neil Farmer gets a bit carried away. Gets caught in the rut. Slows himself down. There's Bidster going through now. Bidster's going through the same bit of tarmac. A bit of handbrake there from Bidster that time and sliding his way through the corner. And sliding the other way now. And down the hill we go. Bidster goes down the hill. It's T.Y. That's a look. Red Bull back and forth. He's now got his teammate closing on him. Red Bull's made a couple of mistakes, I think. Bidster's ditched him. And Red Bull's now back with his with his uh, Chippendale Racing teammate, Rodders, who's just behind him there in his Audi, the number 53 car. And Intrepid there, number 6. Uh, well, sixth place and uh, number 72 then we've got Keith at the back just trying to get used to this Audi not quite his cup of tea this one I don't think not quite his kind of kind of racing and uh, very powerful car very loose track very hard not quite up Keith Street I don't think but still he'll have a good chance to fight back in races 3 and 4 or, or even race 2 you, you never know he might get used to the car in the next few laps so don't write off Keith just yet you never know so T.Y. then into this one. It's only it's a shame we've only got seven for this one, but hopefully next season, guys, we have now got plans next season to actually be getting a 16-car grid for next season, which is going to be absolutely fantastic if we can get that. That'll be really, really uh, impressive, and uh, let's hope we can make that happen. As uh, Neil Farmer then in, in second, going through the same bit. Bits is actually slowly catching him now. Bits is slowly catching Neil Farmer here. He's trying to. As Red Bull and Rodders together, the two teammates still together. So, oh, Red Bull, massive slide through that corner. He's, he's, he's had to straighten the car out there, and that's going to put him off for this next corner. Rodders might be able to gain a bit of time on him. Yes, he has. Look, he's gained a bit of time on him there. As he got the corner, power on. Give it the beans. Down the hill. And uh, onto the down the hill we go. Rodders just tapping the wall there. But Red Bull over the jump. Oh, there we go. We're on the 100, such an 140 miles an hour. That's how fast these cars are. I mean, the modern the modern WRC cars can probably do about 120 miles an hour. But remember, they can go around the corners uh, like a lot more, a lot quicker with the, with the uh, extra downforce levels and uh, modern technology on the cars. But absolutely brilliant these Group B monsters. Yeah, absolutely fantastic era, but uh, got banned for being too dangerous. The cars were, were deemed to be too dangerous after several deaths in the 1985 WRC Ch World Championship. So, uh, plenty of uh, people getting killed in action in these cars, unfortunately, and uh, that's what caused them to slow the cars down for uh, 80... Uh, sorry, that was 1986, sorry, not 85, 86. And uh, 1987, the cars were significantly slowed down. So you can imagine, look at the Audi here. You've got, uh, the, imagine the car without the front wing at the front and without the rear wing, just being a, just a bog standard Audi Quattro without all the excessive other stuff on it. And uh, the 
motor probably turned down from about 500 horsepower probably down to about 300 so uh, half the power and it worked as bids are now looking to put in the fast lap of the race he's catching Neil Farmack very quickly here very quickly catching Neil Farmack as he slides into the corner slides into the hairpin using his rally experience to good use and Neil Farmax is doing a very good job himself a bit of understeer there from Neil but he's doing a good job still in second place TY still just absolutely mowing away in front 3 minute 11.3 that's only about that's only a second off the qualifying time or, or, well off what a potential qualifying lap would be as TY go, even TY makes mistakes hits the wall and uh, goes a bit too fast here comes Neil and Bidster Bidster's catching up to Neil he's trying to anyway there's Neil in front there's Bidster behind let's watch Neil through this section over the jump, gets the car tucked in, beautiful line there from Neil Farmer, and Bob Bidster, massive off, goes round, and oh, he's, he's gone round, he's, oh, he's, 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 has he got it, has he got it, oh, no, yes, no, oh, yes, <laughs> absolute madness there from Bidster, he wanted to keep his foot in that, but he's lost all that time he's gained on Neil Farmer, and there's Red Bull, oh, he's doing the same thing that Bidster did, except worse, he's spun round completely, and his teammate goes straight through him, because of the ghosting, thank God of the ghosting there, but uh, that would have been a big incident, if not, but uh, Red Bull does what Bidster did, but worse, but Bidster, the, the, probably the most wildest recovery I've ever seen in my life, <laughs> just powers it one way, powers the other, we'll get some replays in at the end of the race, guys, of some of the uh, the action that happened, but uh, we're over the jump with Bids now, up in the air, and landing, this time we keep it going straight back to Red Bull, he's trying to uh, redeem himself from that little spin he just had trying to catch his teammate and there's Intrepid further back, just trying to keep himself out of trouble, bringing the points, Keith there in 7th, just trying to survive this one not a big fan of this car but we'll see how he can get on, sliding, it looks like he's doing well so far, sliding the car through the long right hander, getting it straight lined for the way up so good job Keith, keep it up son there's Neil Farmack and T.Y. over the line, he's on to lap four, he's on to the last lap of the race, 3.14 last time round because that little error. Let's see if he can put a fast, another fast lap in this time because he's got plenty of room to do it if he makes a mistake. So we'll see how he goes. Neil Farmack over the line, on to his last lap then. 3.14 for him last time, not a bad lap. Bidster will not be having a good lap because he had that massive spin, so we'll see how he can do this time. Rodders then out of the last one, he's coming around the last few corners, very wide there, very, very wide out the corner there, Rodders, and he's got to really slow the car down for this next right-hander, it's going to lose him time. I guess he goes wide, and the more you, it looks good sliding the car, but it does lose you a hell of a lot of time. But you see right there, Red Bull, he slides the car a bit, but then gets the car, well, he slides the car the other way as well, but straightens it up, eventually gets the power on, and off over the line, onto his last lap he goes as well. Oh, I think that little Red Bull, oh, I thought we were going a bit too hot into the corner, and he's all right, phew, he survived. Now this jump down here with Rodders is really good. You go up to the jump here, have to get up, see the first bit, then you've got the second one, right to the inside, and then it chucks you out right into this wide section. You have to get on the handbrake, get a braking, but Rodders doesn't quite do it enough there. Let's see how Red Bull does it, he's already on the inside, so he's slowed down before the corner, so good job there by Red Bull. That's how you do it. As up, Rodders goes wide again, Rodders goes wide and he's up and he gets the car hooked up to the inside though, but Red Bull is catching him. Makes a little mistake out the corner, but luckily survives. And Red Bull goes up the hill chasing his teammate. Further at the front, we've got TY pulling away at the front, absolutely going for it. I think he's on for a good lap here if he can keep this up. He's on a. Do you remember every point counts and if he can get the extra point for fastest lap, which he's already got so far with the 311.3, but always best to make sure you've got it in the bag and he's got plenty of room to try it, so uh, he's got room to make one, probably one or two major mistakes and actually still keep his gap, but he's 1.2 down at the minute, over the jump, flying through, and oh, it hits the wall, that's not going to help his lap time, I think the 311's probably going to be the best he can do, there's Neil, there's Bidster, he's in the air as well, trying to do what he can to try and get a good lap time here, there's Neil Farmack through the section which T.Y. lost it on but very very clean through there from Neil Farmer a very clean lap so far for him actually looking like he's catching T.Y. slightly here actually as Bidster goes over the same bit in the air massive commitment from Bidster and it looks messy but it's quick as he goes up down the hill and into the braking zone for the long uphill left hander slides the car in very sideways but then straightens the car out for the way out the corner and gets to move up the hill Next to run up the hill, Neil Farmack then up towards the jump, up towards the jump for Neil Farmack, up over the jump, there we go, over the camera, and lands it, gets immediately on the brakes for the hair, for the, for the hairpin, and off he goes, let's look at Bids to over the jump then, let's see some air from Bids, up over the jump, keeps his foot flat in the throttle, and keeps it down, and then slide, perfectly slides the car into the corner, 
round he goes, nicely down there. TY's already on his last bit of the track, up in the air for him, touching 143 miles an hour for TY. Big commitment there over the jump, kept it really, really flat. Sliding his way through the last corner, keeping it to the inside, transition to the right, sliding the car to the right, down. Uh, Mess with the gearbox and across the line for victory for TY. Well done to TY. Victory for him at Fisherman's Ranch. Keeps up his winning streak as well because he won three races last time out at, uh, at Tokyo as well. So good job by TY there. So it's four in a row for him. Neil Farmack finishes in second. Well done to Neil Farmack. Good position for him. And Bidster is on a fly here, but he's not gonna quite he's not gonna get TY's fastest lap, but he's on for the third place. Podium place for Bidster. Well done to Bidster here when he gets the podium. Rodders is coming down the hill. Red Bull's still behind him, but he's not quite catching up yet. He's not really got enough enough momentum to catch him properly as we go onto the last few corners. Rodders slides his way around. Beautiful car control. Oh, Red Bull sliding the car into the corner. Very enthusiastic into the corner there. Trying to reverse it in. But uh, Rodders goes out the last corner. And across the line for Rodders into... There we are. Fourth place for Rodders. Fifth place for his teammate Red Bull. Good haul of points for the team. It's Intrepid, the Independent. He's going to be, he's going, he's going to come around in sixth, but we're just going to wait and see if he makes any mistakes. There's Keith, still struggling at the back with his car. Intrepid in the air and into the last few corners. Brake, brake, brake. Slow the car down. Get the car in. Very slow there. It was very pedestrian. Needs to go down a second gear, I think. But uh, gets it round and on the power. Round we go. There goes Keith down the hill, 140 mile an hour break, 143 mile an hour again. Same as TY. Big commitment there from Keith, but then goes into the wall. Intrepid in sixth. And Keith is definitely now going to round off the seven. We'll just watch him coming around these last few corners. Here we go, sliding his way in, and very nice with the wall. And Keith takes seventh place. So, guys, we will just now take you to the replays, followed by the results. Here's the replays from the race. Here's the first of the replays then, looking on board with Bidster from the start, so gets a brilliant start uh, uh, because of uh, Keith who went backwards and then Rodders and Red Bull come together a little bit there and then the two teammates into the next corner, Intrepid's in, there's a slow to slows down a bit and Red Bull hits the back of him, Rodders then comes up, up, up on the inside, Intrepid goes wide, watch here, Intrepid comes across, just drifts across into Red Bull, there's contact then, Intrepid comes worse off. Bidzer goes through, then Red Bull over the jump slows down, he's a bit cautious and, and Bidzer goes around the outside and then drifts right in front of Red Bull. Absolutely insane there. <laughs> that was either pure luck or brilliant spatial awareness. I think that was more luck than judgment really, but uh, then into the into this section you see there, Rodders goes wide, there's contact with Bidzer, Bidzer goes wide there as well. And then we all took in together and we go up the hill. And now here's another replay on board with Bidster further up, so you see there Red Bull makes a mistake and he goes wide and then his teammate gives him a little nudge into the wall, it couldn't be helped there and then we continue around here, now watch Rodders' car, he looks like he's going to go wide, Bidster then just tucks the car on the inside but then Rodders actually gets the grip back but then by that time it's too late, Bidster's already on the inside committed to the line and Rodders ends up in the wall and Bidster continues with Rodders down in fifth. And again, we're on lap one. This is a replay of what happened to Keith for him to go down to the back over the jump and then hits the wall on the right. It's too far to the right over the jump and positions the car poorly. And then Keith ends up down in seventh. Intrepid moves up to sixth. And again, more first lap drama here. We're looking at Bidzer's incident over the jump and lands the car, just lands the car weirdly and then spins right in front of us. And Red Bull has a bit of a scare as Bidzer then eventually gets going and tries to get back down the inside, but he can't quite do it. And now here's a replay of something that happened to Red Bull on lap two. We're going up the hill, watch here for Red Bull, he's behind Bidzer. So then look, he gets, just gets too far into that corner, there's a little gap in the wall there and he hits that little dint in the wall and then Red Bull ends up going right back down and then he has his teammate for company. And now here's a replay of Bidzer's wild moments on lap three. This is from the helmet cam going down here over the jump. Then we go over the jump, we just go out the wall, we're going to the, to the side, now we go to the other way, it's fully sideways, then we go the other way, and then we go back the other way again, he cannot control the car, he's trying to get it back, but then eventually gets the car going, but that was absolutely insane, I've never seen anything like that in my whole life. And just for the fun of it, here's another look at Bids's wild moment from the outside view once again, absolutely incredible. Hits one wall, round we go, power on, 
trying to get the car around, it does it too much, too much again, trying to, still trying to get the car back, there we go, and eventually there we go, we get it sorted, incredible. Okay, now here's the replay on board with Red Bull, looking at the fight between the two Chippendale racing cars, they get very close there, and we go out this left-hander, Red Bull's going to try and go for the inside, get a bit more of a better line on, onto the straight, here we go, and watch Rodders, but he gets the wrong line, goes wide, then bang, hits the wall, it sticks out, uh, uh, sort of uh, goes in, inwards there, and loses a place to Red Bull, but then we go over, this, over the top, and then Red Bull loses it himself, right over the top, loses it, it's a complete 360, and Rodders goes straight back through, so the two Chippenhill racing cars both make, make a mistake within about 100 metres of each other. And now straight to the results. Okay, so here's the results of race one then. So it is T.Y. who takes victory, 10 seconds ahead of the field. Well done to T.Y. Neil Farmer in second place. Then we've got Bidster in third after the tank slapper of all times. Then it is Rodders in fourth. Then it's Red Bull in fifth. Intrepid finishes back in sixth with Keith struggling back in 7th. T.Y. takes the fastest lap of the race, a 3 minute 11.3. So then, there's your winner, T.Y. in the Rebellion race, Re Rebellion Motorsport Audi there. Well done to T.Y. Fantastic win, dominant as well. And we will see you guys next time for race 2 around Fisherman's Ranch again in these cars. We'll see you for that one, guys. Take care. Thank you for watching another race by LPB Racing. Really hope you all enjoyed that one. And next time it's going to be round six, race two. And it's the Audis again around Fishman's Ranch. Some more 600 horsepower fun.